NASA is one step closer to landing astronauts back on the moon 50 years after their last mission. The Artemis 1 Orion test flight splashed down in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Baja, California. Splashdown. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Litro to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion, back on Earth. The Orion capsule carried three mannequins in place of astronauts for its 25-day mission to the moon and back. The fully suited mannequins and the spacecraft will now be tested ahead of any changes that need to be made for astronauts to fly the next Artemis program mission. It is NASA's first step towards returning humans to the moon as early as 2025 and eventually take them to Mars. For more on this story, we spoke with Bob McDonald. He's the host of CBC Radio's Quirks and Quarks and is CBC's national science commentator. And he shared his reaction to the successful splashdown. I can see that it landed in what they call stable one, which is upright. Sometimes they bounce and go upside down, but it's, it's upright in the water. It's floating. Everything worked. It's a remarkable accomplishment that uh, everything they wanted to do worked exactly as they planned. And uh, now it's just a matter of uh, the divers going out and uh, searching it, making sure that it's safe, attaching a line to it, and then bringing it into the recovery ship, which will take a couple of hours. But it is safe. You should see some three red balloons uh, inflate on the top of it to make sure that it stays upright. But uh, there it is. So they did it. It's, it's really quite amazing. Now, if there were astronauts on that, if there were people on it, how would their muscles be feeling? I mean, I can only imagine the emotions, but physically, would they be feeling very different right now? Uh, yes, uh, they would be feeling the gravity of the Earth because they've been floating around for the last uh, you know, almost a month up in space. They've been like uh, Peter Pan and up and down don't matter. You can turn yourself in every, any direction. Now everything, your head feels like a bowling ball. Your arms are heavy and you're feeling the motion. You're feeling motion in your ears and your organs of balance that you weren't feeling before. Uh, you might be a little nauseous, so they just kind of hang on and sit still, but they're trained for that and they probably also took some medication but this is this is one of the roughest times right now just floating out in the ocean waiting for recovery but they'll be happy to be back happy that they made it through the atmosphere happy that the heat shield worked that it protected them uh, during that very fiery re-entry that they had to do to the atmosphere and by the way Natasha today is also the 50th anniversary of the last time that humans landed on the moon it was Apollo 17 that landed on this day so as Orion landed on Earth um, Challenger was called landed on the moon. So it's kind of fitting that the end of one era is we're seeing the beginning of the other, the other. Nobody ever thought it would take 50 years to do that, but at least we're on the track for going back. Bob McDonald speaking with us earlier.